So far, we have seen Nyquist stability criterion and uh, sums on that. Today, let us see relative stability using Nyquist criterion and M and circles. M and constant M and N circles. Constant M circles. Constant M circles. We know, suppose uh, closed loop transfer function T of S equal to G of S, unity feedback system, unity feedback system, G of S upon 1 plus G of S. What is T of J omega equal to G of J omega upon 1 plus G of J omega? But uh, if you find the g of j omega, it is a complex number. It is a complex number. If you substitute any point in that, you will get a complex number. You will get a complex number. So it is a complex number. So we can say that the g of j omega can be j x plus j y. We can call g of j omega as x plus j y. Therefore, this uh, closed loop transfer function becomes uh, x plus j y because g of j omega is a complex number. 1 plus uh, x plus j y. What is modulus of uh, this can, what is modulus of uh, uh, t of j omega that is equal to modulus of x plus j y upon modulus of 1 plus x plus j y. Let us call this as the modulus value as m. What is phase? Phase of T of j omega equal to angle of x plus j y upon 1 plus x plus j y. That uh, let us call it as e power j theta. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, magnitude is m. Angle is e power j theta. Uh, or we can call this as T of j omega may be called as magnitude with the angle. E power j theta. M e power j theta. M is magnitude. What is m square? m square equal to m equal to what? Square root of x square plus y square. So, m square means x square plus y square upon 1 plus real part square plus imaginary part square. We will put square root. If it is m means, if it is m means, we will put square root. That's all. Real part square plus imaginary part square. Therefore, m equal to m equal to x square plus y square upon 1 plus x square plus y square. If you cross multiply this, what you will get? 1 plus x square is 1 plus 2x plus 2x plus x square multiplied by m square plus y square m square. y square m square equal to x square plus y square. This can also be written as what we got m square multiplied by 1 plus 2x plus x square plus m square y square equal to x square plus y square. Except m square, m square bring all to the right hand side. Let us write one more step. m square plus 2x m square plus x square m square plus m square y square equal to x square plus y square. Keep uh, m square in one side and all other things you bring to the ones other, another side, you will get uh, m square equal to x square plus y square plus x square plus y square plus
minus 2x m square minus x square m square minus m square y square. Group x square together. x square to the together. 1 minus m square. Similarly, bring y square together. 1 minus m square y square. Y square. <coughs> Then what is the remaining things? Uh, this is taken. This is also taken. The only thing is minus 2x m square. Divide on both sides by 1 minus m square. You will get uh, m square upon 1 minus m square equal to x square plus y square minus 2x m square upon 1 minus m square. So, some x square y square is there. That's why this equation can be shown as circle. So, if you add on both sides, deliberately add on both sides, m square minus 1 minus m square whole square plus m square divided by 1 minus m square. I am deliberately adding m square upon 1 minus m square whole square on both sides. You, you will get x square plus y square minus 2x m square upon 1 minus m square plus m square upon 1 minus m square whole square. So if you consider if you consider this this and this together, what you will get is yes, if you consider this this and this together, you will get x minus m square upon 1 minus m square whole square. You will get x square, you will get this square minus 2x m square divided by 1 minus m square, you will get plus y plus 0 whole square equal to you have to simplify this so that uh, 1 minus m square whole square. So you have to multiply this, uh, this with uh, 1 minus m square. 1 minus m square m square plus m power 4. That is equal to m, m square minus m power 4 plus m power 4 upon 1 minus m square whole square. These two getting cancelled. Therefore, the right hand side is m square divided by 1 minus m square whole square. So, this is an equation of circle. This is an equation of uh, circle. This is an equation of circle. What is center? Center is Hmm. This is uh, this is x minus uh, yes sorry the cent minus so the center is uh, uh, m square upon one minus m square hmm. and zero is the center radius equal to radius equal to square root of this that is m divided by one minus m square so it is a circle of radius m upon 1 minus m square. And the center is at m square upon 1 minus m square comma 0. So it is a circle. What is m? m is magnitude of closed loop transfer function. How we can vary magnitude? By varying k. If you vary k, automatically m will vary you will get circles of radius m upon 1 minus m square m upon 1 minus m square and center is at m square upon 1 minus m square comma 0 
this is a circle if m varies you will get different circles this is called this is called m circles if you vary m you will get different circles but uh, this uh, equation will fail when m equal to 1 when m equal to 1 what will happen when m equal to 1 1 upon 1 minus 1 this becomes 0 therefore infinity and uh, radius also infinity that is not possible this equation uh, fails when uh, m equal to 1 therefore we have to consider this equation the, this equation when m equal to 1 if we, m equal to 1 what you will get x square plus y square equal to 1 plus x square this side it will come m equal to 1 m equal to 1, 1 square m, that is 1 square, multiplied by the denominator will come there, that is 1 plus x square plus 2x plus y square. Therefore, x square, x square getting cancelled, y square also getting cancelled. Therefore, the remaining thing is 0 equal to 1 plus 2x or x equal to minus 1 by 2. It is equation of straight line. So, when m equal to 1, it is straight line. Otherwise, it is a circle. When m is, uh, when m is uh, greater than 1, you will get set of circles. When m is greater than 1, you will get set of circles like this. When m is less than 1, you will get set of circles like this. When m equal to 1, when m equal to 1, you will get, uh, uh, sorry, when m equal to 1, you will get, uh, you will get a um, straight line at uh, uh, x equal to minus 1 by 2. x equal to here at this point x equal to minus 1 by 2. So, it is a straight line. Otherwise, it is a circle. So, what will happen if uh, m is greater than 1, m tends to infinity what will happen? Center is m square. Center is m square m square divided by 1 minus m square. As m tends to infinity, you will get infinity by infinity. <laughs> infinity by infinity. So, if you differentiate the numerator and denominator once, you will get 2m divided by minus 2m. Again, infinity by infinity. Again, infinity by infinity. If you differentiate one more time, what you will get 2 by minus 2. That is minus 1. So, the center goes to center goes to when m tends to infinity when m tends to infinity center becomes minus 1 comma 0 and the radius tends to 0 because uh, here uh, denominator degree is higher that's why it will goes to infinity and 1 by infinity becomes 0 so radius tends to 0 that is mentioned here the center is uh, finally as m tends to infinity center goes to minus 1 comma 0 0 on the other side what happens the center is uh, m square upon 1 minus m square comma 0 radius is m upon 1 minus m square as m tends to z, uh, 0 here the maximum value is just below 1 the minimum value is 0 as m tends to 0 what you will get 0 upon 1 therefore 0 comma 0 finally as m tends to 0 the center goes to 0 comma 0 that is here the center goes to 0 comma 0 and radius also goes to 0 as m tends to 0 radius also tends to 0 that is mentioned here so these are all called set of m circles 